So now we've taken a look at what these scopes are actually capable of. Let's, um, let's put them a bit more into practice uh, and take a look at this sh uh, shot here. So if we just try to use the automatic color balance on this, um, you know, it kind of doesn't really give us the, uh, the look that we wanted. So that whole process of going in and analyzing the shots, um, you know, that doesn't always pay total dividends. So we are going to have to learn how to do a lot of this stuff ourselves. And um, let's start, as we always do, by coming in and checking out the brightness and contrast. So in the waveform monitor here, we'll just check out the, uh, the Luma. I'm quite happy with looking at the Luma there. Um, let's uh, see how that's working out. So for overall brightness and contrast, we're not doing too badly, actually. Um, we've got a load of darks here, but no uh, no total blacks, which I'm, you know, not surprised at. Even the the sh uh, the dark wood here isn't totally black, and we do have a lot of bright areas here, but we're not uh, clipping. We're not going above where we uh, where we need to. So, for brightness and contrast, I'm kind of happy with where we're at at the moment. You know, we've got our mid tones sitting quite happily. It's actually if we come in back into the vector scope again now. This is where we can start to see the issues. So we've got a big problem in the fact uh, that we, you know, we're all over towards the uh, yellows and greens here. So instead of this being a nice sort of not neutral white, but a sort of uh, more neutral color than it actually is, uh, we're moving over towards the yellows and greens. And now we can start to have a look at the main color correction tools that we have within Final Cut Pro. If you're just coming from Final Cut 7, this is uh, actually going to be quite a shock to you. The three-way color wheels have gone, gone, gone. And whether they're coming back or not, you know, that's really down to uh, third-party developers, I think, at this stage. So um, we've got to do a new way of dealing with, uh, with color adjustments. So it actually is um, fairly straightforward. Um, in many, many sort of ways. We have our four main targets. We have our global, our shadows, our midtones, and our highlights. And these are represented by these different areas here. So if we want to, uh, for example, uh, do an overall correction to our uh, shot here, we can either push this. Let's find the, uh, the hue that we want to push in towards. So let's take uh, the, actually say yellow, for example. We say, okay, we've got too much yellow in this now. So we can just pull that down in the yellows and that's going to take away some of that yellowish tint. If we look over on the vector scope here, let's do that again. So taking it up from neutral to just pushing it back a little bit so that you know our little um, clump of colors in the vector scope is now moving and clumping around the uh, the center point a bit more. So this is actually something uh, that's that's quite new. Uh, we can also come over because the traditional way is if you saw something was too yellow, you'd go over to the blues and push it towards the blues, and that still works. So we can either come to the yellows and say, okay, take some of the yellows away, or if you know your color wheel, you can come over to the blues and push a bit more blue in there. Let's just reset that up here. And we've got the same uh, abilities that we had before with the highlights, midtones, and shadows. But the problem is we don't have, you know, our little um, eyedroppers that we used to have quite nicely within um, Final Cut Pro 7. So one way of doing it is to actually start to try and isolate a, uh, a particular area. So, for example, let's come over, uh, actually come back uh, into our main inspector here, come to our crop tool, and let's hit show crop. And we can just select the area that we're interested in, maybe this wall here, and pop back into our color correction here. Take a look at our video scopes one more time, and then come in maybe with uh, just the midtones this time. 